Uh, my name is Joseph Schoonover, uh, currently pastoring uh, a church in Manassas, Virginia, up in the D.C. area. I've been there for almost four years and uh, you know, kind of grew up in church, but really didn't have a relationship with Jesus Christ. I was in church Sundays, Wednesdays, all the time in ministry, uh, joined the military, ended up getting out of my parents' house uh, and just kind of fell away from everything that I had been raised in church, everything that I knew was right, but I had no connection with Jesus. There was no relationship. It was just a religion. I kind of had a God that was on a shelf in a box, and I lived that way for 27 years, you know, in and out of churches, in ministry opportunities, you know, leading things. I would argue about God. I would even use the Bible to win arguments, even though I didn't have a relationship with the man, or with God rather, who wrote the Bible. I just use it to win arguments. And you know, think through that. So back in 2006, I was deployed with the Navy. I came back to an empty house, empty bank account. Uh, my wife at the time had taken the kids, packed up, and went back to Missouri where I had grown up. And God had an opportunity to get a hold of me like he never had before. <clears throat> and I knew all of that was going to be happening. I knew I was going to be coming back to that environment. But walking into that environment, getting hit with the complete emptiness of life, was way different than I pictured it being in my mind. And in November 2006, when I came back off that deployment, a couple guys from the church in Norfolk, uh, they came by, they were knocking on doors, they invited me out to a Bible study, and you know, I gave the, the whole spiel, I'm good, my grandfather was a pastor, my dad's a deacon, I've been in church my whole life, I know who God is, I'm good. And they challenged me, are you living for God, and will you come out to the Bible study? You know, and at the time, uh, my, my mind was a wreck, didn't really have much to, to focus on. And I said, yes, with all the wrong intentions, all the wrong motives. And when I got there, I saw a group of guys who had been uh, felons. They had been in and out of prison. They had been divorced. And they had something that I knew what it was. I knew immediately that it was a relationship with Jesus because I had been pretending my whole life to have that. And in November 2006, I surrendered my life to Jesus Christ. And instead of having a religion about a God, I finally had a relationship with my Savior. And that's what really changed my life. Uh, God has put me on a new path. Uh, we've been out pioneering now for four years. So that was, uh, let's see, 2006 to now. So 17, no, 14 years almost that I've been saved, actually living for God now instead of just having a relation, or be, instead of having a religion about Him. And he's, he's really given me a focus and a purpose. And the challenge of that is that anyone can have a religion about a God. Anyone can have a religion that doesn't change you. Anyone can have a God that you make exactly what you want. And that's what I had done. I had made a God that suited my purposes and that I was okay with. But there was no change, there was no challenge. But when I began to compare myself to Jesus, all of my ideas went out the window and I had the stark realization that without a relationship with Jesus Christ, my life was meaningless. And you can do the exact same thing. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter where you're from. It doesn't matter if you, know, you go to church, you don't go to church. It doesn't matter if you've ever had an encounter with God or not, but he can change your life. Jesus Christ set me free from bitterness, from anger, from hatred. And he's given me the ability to love people, to, to love my wife, to move past all the things of, of what had hurt, all the bitterness and anger of the things that had, were destroying me. And that's all been surrendered to the blood of Jesus Christ. And it doesn't matter who you are, what your past is. He can change you. He can set you free. And I'd love to invite you to have a relationship with Jesus Christ and start that journey into heaven. Feel free to come out and join us sometime. Uh, we're in Manassas, Virginia at the Potter's House, located at 9401 Centerville Road. And uh, again, my name is Joseph Schoonover, the pastor there, and we'd love to have you guys come out. We'll be looking for you.